Welcome to the Roundtree Garden Podcast. My name is Diana, and I'm the Communications Director here at Roundtree. What's your name? I, I'm Barbara Merrick, and I've been here about almost six months. We're so happy you're here, Ms. Barbara. So let's start with uh, telling me a little bit about yourself and where you grew up. Um, a little bit about myself. I grew up in Long Beach, California. Local. Yes. yes. And um, spent most of my life here. So I uh, grew up in a little place called Naples. I went to Naples Elementary School, and then I went to Rogers Junior High, and Wilson High School. So I'm just kind of a local. Yes, that's yeah. uh, by the bay, right? Yes. yes. Very nice. Uh -huh. So where did you go to college? I went to Long Beach City College. Okay. I went there a long time. I mean, many years. <laughs> <laughs> but you graduated. Uh, yes, I, I got my RN degree there, and I graduated, yes. Okay, so you became a registered nurse? Yes. Okay, uh -huh. and did you work in a hospital or any type of health care oh, yes. setting? Yes, I, I worked in um, mostly Long Beach Community Hospital, which is a smaller hospital. Yeah. And I worked in labor and delivery. You know, okay. So that was the fun part because most of the the people that came in to have babies were low risk. They'd send the high risk to the other oh, hospital. So it was okay. almost like having a birthday party for somebody else every day. Yeah. And I loved it. And it you was, loved it. Yes. It Delivered lots of babies. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. So how long did you do that for? About five years. Okay. Uh -huh. And then after? Then after I, I think I remarried. And so when I remarried my husband, I, I knew he was just too big a job. I, we're still married. That he needed me too much. That I needed to baby him instead of <laughs> working with the babies. <laughs> okay. Okay. And did you have any babies of your own? Yes. Um, I had two daughters from my first husband, and uh, and I then my husband and I have one daughter. So I have three daughters all together, and I really like them. Oh, it's so wonderful. Yes. Yeah. And what did you and your family like to do together? Oh, let's see. Well, when I was younger and married to my, my first husband, we used to take the kids out in the desert and ride our motorcycles out there. And that oh, was kind of fun. Adventurous. Y yes, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, we used to ride some things called Enduros. And, and I never worried about being fast. I just wanted to finish. So okay. it was fun. And the desert was fun. And the kids liked camping out. And, well, we had a big, like a trailer. Oh. So it wasn't, wasn't really tough. It was kind of fun. That's nice. Uh -huh. To have the trailer and have everything with you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, what did you and your husband like to do together? Oh, let me see. Well, not my first husband irritated me kind of a little but, bit. Yeah. So, um, that didn't last but 15 years. But I gave him a good chance. You can, yes. I gave him a good chance, and I got yeah. two wonderful children. But my, my husband and I, the one I have now, um, we used to like to play tennis. We oh. played tennis together, and uh, then he used to like to go to the beach, and he played volleyball, and I, I, sometimes I could get in there and play volleyball. But Very nice. A lot, of, a lot of times I just watched the volleyball oh, okay. because I wasn't that good. Did you guys do any traveling? Quite a bit. Yeah? Quite a bit. I've been to a lot of places, and I've been to Russia. I've been oh. to China. I've been... Um, Australia. I've been so many places. I don't probably don't remember them all. We used to always go on cruises. Oh, fine. Go on the same cruise line, so we get points. Yes. Uh, so we, the more points you get, the more amenities you get when you yeah on your cruise, and it, it was very nice. We saw a lot of places, and I like cruising because you didn't have to pack and unpack. You could just 
packed one time. Uh -huh. That was sad. And you got to visit multiple places? Right. I certainly did. Yeah, we're moving hotel. That's about it. It was right. Yeah. Yes. Great, great food on those. Oh, definitely. <laughs> the food is delicious. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So, from all your traveling, what was your favorite place that you went? Well, I think I really liked Germany. I think it was really, really beautiful there. I I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. So you, you sound very adventurous. Yes. So what's like the most extreme thing you did? Oh, you had to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> did you bungee well, jump? No, no. I was a motorcycle riding and um, this place called Piru Creek and it, it had very small trail and a high, high slope and a very small trail and, and my motorcycle went down from under me and my eyes were standing on the trail and the motorcycle got caught in the bush. So that was that was really one of the awful memories so, I had. That's an awful <laughs> memory. Yeah. Did you get hurt? No. no okay. Oh good. I did retrieve the bike and I think I walked it down the rest of the way because <laughs> I was so scared <laughs> that by then. <laughs> that that yeah, that went somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about your favorite food that you had? Do you have like a favorite dish that you tried? Oh, not I used to, I'm not eating meat now, but I used, oh, to, okay. I used to love, you meat. know, a good steak. Yeah. Flay mignon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with lobster. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. The good stuff. Yes. Oh, good. Stuff like that. But now I'm not eating meat and okay. I'm finding a lot of good substitutes. And oh, good. Uh, trying to be really healthy. You sound very healthy. Thank you. <laughs> and your favorite dessert you said was dark chocolate? Well, I think I said it was the key lime pie here. That oh, day. that's right. And then I always like, I eat chocolate every day because I want to be healthy and the dark chocolate is good for me. Oh. <laughs> and what's your favorite thing about Roundtree Gardens? The people. There are so many kind people here. I just love it because uh, everybody really tries to be helpful and friendly to everybody else. And I feel so safe here because I forget so much and they give me all my medicine. So I know I've taken all my medicine when I come here and I feel safe and I love the people. And of course I love the employees they are very sweet and very kind too. So, oh, it's thank just you. A really, really nice place to be, and it is beautiful. The area is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ms. Barbara, we're going to end with some advice you can give to just a new generation or someone recently getting out of high school and starting their life. Well, I would say that you should find the work that you love because if you really love your work, it's not like work at all. So that, that would be the best thing. Find something you really love to do, and then you will probably be very happy. Then if you haven't got something you love, I guess you have to try a bunch of things, and then yeah. decide which one you like. Right, <laughs> so don't be afraid to try. Right. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. We really appreciate it. It was my joy, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.